came to Christ, uh, it was one Sunday morning when I was like four, and uh, I was singing like, the, we're on our way to church. It wasn't this church, it's the Love Back Church. And my parents asked me, do you want to become a Christian? And I said, yes, and, and it started from there. It started from there. Yeah. yeah. You want to follow Christ? The answer is yes. And you know, it's so simple, you know? Now, you understand we had this conversation just a little bit ago, but you understand that you're a sinner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in fact, I had asked you some of the specific sins you've committed, but I won't ask you to repeat them in front of everyone else here. Um, but uh, you understand that Christ died to forgive you of your sin. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, I was just talking about Peter and about how Peter really was excited about Jesus and, and didn't want to... Uh, not follow Jesus, but when things got really difficult, Peter had a difficult time choosing to stand by Jesus. Are you willing to follow Jesus no matter how the world would make fun of Jesus or make fun of you? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you a really difficult question, and I didn't prep you for this one, okay? Um, but if at some point in your life someone came along and they gave you an option and they said, you can either profess to be a Christian and I'll kill you today, or you can deny Jesus Christ and I'll let you live. What would your response be? Which would you say? Stay a Christian. And you'd die for Christ? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Then come over here, because we're going to do exactly what you said. We're not going to kill you, but we are going to kill you. Before we do that, you can hold on to my hands. I'm going to pray for you, all right? Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you for this young man whom you have made in your likeness. You've made him. Uh, you have made him wonderfully, Lord. Uh, and I thank you for his heart, Lord. And I just pray that you would anoint Josiah, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, Lord. You have saved him from his sin, his sin he is familiar with. And I pray that he would always be uh, intimately familiar, Lord, with salvation, Lord. That he would always know that there is nothing that can separate him from your love for him, Lord. That because of what Jesus Christ has done, this man can live boldly, uh, and he can live confidently. That he can always choose to do the right thing and know that you will be with him as he makes those choices to honor you and to do the right thing, Lord. I pray that you would use him for your glory, Lord. That you would send him where you want to send him and that he would be who you want him to be and go where you want him to go, Lord. That he would rightly represent you before this generation, Lord. He will, unless you tarry, he will grow up into be a man that I pray is an example. An example that is worthy of others following you. So bless him, Lord, and use him for your glory. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Josiah, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.